What's going on, gang? Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers R.I.D. Warrior Class Paralon. Now, Paralon is a unique figure. He is a repaint of the original Scorponok figure, which is coming out a little bit later this year, and he is part of the Toys R Us exclusive Clash of the Transformers. Paralon's head sculpt is an homage to the original Beast Wars Scorponok cartoon from way back in the early 90s. In terms of height, Paralon up to his head is shorter than most of the other Decepticons, but with his giant shoulder pads, he is the same height as the others. The figure's a very neat looking figure, but I kind of wish it was in darker purple or black, like the original Beast Wars figure. It's very compact and well proportioned. Ball joints in the hips are a little bit loose, but nothing a little bit of pledge won't fix. Overall posability is pretty good. Ball joint in the head, though he can't look up that far. Shoulder joints, swivels, hinges in the elbows, no hand articulation, and no real hands either. He's kind of got these triple claws that work okay. Ball joints in the hips, swivels just at the upper thigh. Then his legs can extend all the way, giving him a whole extra inch worth of height but he looks absolutely patentedly ridiculous like this. I prefer to collapse the lower part of the legs by the knees so he looks more like he would in the show, or at least the way Scorponok looks in the show. Nice deep heels and big feet give him some good stability. Overall, posability is okay. The only issue I really have with it is that it's top heavy. The weight is distributed evenly enough that you can get some okay poses out of this guy. The only accessory the figure comes with is this very nicely detailed sword, which it becomes his stinger in scorpion mode. The only issue I have with it is it can't be stored anywhere neatly in bot mode. Paralon's transformation is more complicated than I initially thought. To start off with, we're going to take the arms and point them straight down, then turn them so that the inner elbow is pointing towards the outside of the figure. Then come to the shoulder pads and wiggle them off the shoulders and they will unpeg from these pegs right here on the side of his chest. Then grab the shoulder pads and open them up from the back and open them up as far as they will go while flipping out these little panels that are from the tops of the shoulders. Slide the shoulder pad down the arms, bend the forearm at 90 degrees, and place them within the shoulder pads, and then just close the shoulder pads up. And this will give us what I refer to as his boxer mode, very similar to the Maxter Gundam. He looks patentedly ridiculous like this, but he's got a little boxer mode. And then if you add the stinger scorpion piece like that, you get what I like to call a half-scorp mode. It works. It really does look like something out of Battletech, though. Next up for the transformation is reach behind the head and open up the entire chest. And there's a set of hinges in the crotch. Pull that all the way down and flatten out the hinge, like that. Then take the scorpion head that's in the back and flip it up till it snaps into place. Fold the robot head up until it snaps into place, and then close the chest back up until it snaps into place. Next for the legs, take the feet and fold them down so that the heels go up into the shins, straighten the leg out, and then flip the lower part of the leg around until it connects very lightly to the silver hinge there at the top of the knee. Then point the legs straight out like this with the ball joints from the hips pointing towards the front of the crotch. Then turn the thigh swivel so that the bottom part or the bottom part of the ball joint is pointing down and then fold it up and peg it underneath the robot chest. So the same thing on the other side like that. And then fold down the scorpion claws and the scorpion legs and just get everything situated with the tail. And then what I like to do is turn the ball joint in the arms so that it doesn't droop. And here we have a nice big purple scorpion. Paralon in scorpion mode is rad, absolutely rad. The purple scorpion of death. Posability is high in this figure. 
in this mode, especially in the tail, which can strike forward or you can strike to the sides. Very cool. Claws do move. They have as much posability as the arms did, which is very, very nice. And the mouth even opens and closes, which is very, very cool. Overall, a fantastic scorpion mode. And for those wondering, yes, you can make a Gerwalk Scorpion. This Toys R Us exclusive figure is loads of fun. Paralon is definitely worth having in your collection. The only thing and the only negative I can really come up with is his hips are a little loose, but nothing a little pledge won't fix. So gang, I hope you've enjoyed this video review of Transformers Warrior Class R.I.D. Paralon. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.